Welcome back everybody. Time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And this is a scenario of my own making. I want to see, a lot of people have requested over time for me to build what we would call a glass cannon, which is basically a ship that can take very little damage, but can dish out a ton. Um, in order to be able to do that, we, we need to build battle cruisers because anything smaller than a battle cruiser, I just can't get the really big guns on it. So we're going to build three battle cruisers, 1940 technology at 40,000 meters. See if we can take out uh, six U.S. battleships and four U.S. light cruisers. I think this is a tall task with similar technology, and I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to do it, but I think it'll be fun to try. Uh, I did unlock everything to give myself the best chance. Uh, a couple of things I want to mention while we are at it. Number one, they have said that this game is going to be made available on early release on Steam no later than August 10th was the last news that I read. They said it's possible it could be sooner, but no later than that. So uh, be watching for that. And I believe I read that 35 US dollars is the price point. It's not going to have a campaign yet. It's basically going to have the features that are currently available with what I'm playing with. A uh, campaign may, may be still several months away. The other thing is, uh, if you haven't already heard, I have uh, started migrating all of my uh, kind of on location history videos to another channel called Vlogging Through History. And uh, if you click on the link in the description below and head over to that and subscribe to that channel and hit the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate that. You're going to be seeing some new content there in addition to migrating all the old videos over there. I'm going to be doing some uh, kind of live stream history chats coming up real soon. So be watching for those. But let's dive into the design for this glass cannon today. Okay, so tonnage is actually more limited than I would have hoped. Uh, looks like we are kind of limited to 50,000 tons max on these various cruisers. Looks like this is probably the one I want to go with. I want to get the max weight on it. So I'm a little disappointed by that. And I'm feeling already like I'm not sure I can win such a task. Uh, up against so many battleships, but we're gonna give it a go anyway and see what happens uh, if we can Use our speed to stay at distance Maybe I have a chance uh, So and then we're gonna get as many main guns especially on the back as we can I'm looking at accuracy at long range as being my my key here uh, 25,000 meters we got 1.3 percent accuracy here it's only 1.4 on the 14 inch gun, so I think we're going to go ahead and go with the 18s. Let's look at reload time. 16s, yeah, maybe that's where we, we want to go because I'm thinking about weight and I'm concerned about how heavy these guns are going to be. I also want to see if it's possible to get a barbette on that spot right there. Looks like it is. So that'll get us another one. What do we say? What are we doing? 16s? Yeah. There you go. So that'll help. Um, don't think we're going to get another another one up there. I'll throw one up front. We've got a huge aft weight offset right now. So I'm going to start dealing with some of this other stuff and we'll talk about what I did. Okay. So uh, we actually got the weight balanced out just about perfectly. Just the one uh, triple 16 up front. Uh, three in the rear, so that's going to give us a total of 12 16-inch guns on each of our three ships. Uh, that combined with a couple of 17s and then some, or seven inch and then some fives. Uh, but really, speed is going to be the key. This 40 and a half knots of speed that we have, I'm hoping will be enough to keep us alive. I'm really concerned we're going to take a couple of quick kills and not be able to do this. So we'll see what happens. Looks like we're getting some. Uh, some errors here, but hopefully that doesn't keep this from working. Okay, three battle cruisers against six modern battleships, four light cruisers. I'm definitely going to have my work cut out for me. This is going to be all about being able to stay at a distance from these guys and do it effectively. So uh, let's go ahead and start speeding things up. We've got the Cornelia, the Precocia, or Precosa, or Preciosa, San Marcos. So we'll start heading toward him. I do have the uh, the rangefinder that gives me the best long range accuracy. 
as soon as we spot him, we're going to turn this thing around. We started at 40,000 meters, so it's going to take a little time. Okay, I think we spotted him. I don't see him personally, but uh, we're firing, so we're seeing something out there. Let's go ahead and turn around. Because now that we've got him in our sights, the last thing we want to do is let him get close. I'm curious to see what kind of guns this guy's going to have. The other thing I want to do is go ahead and drop my speed so I can get that cruise speed bonus. Now, we'll have to see what his speed is and what speed we need to maintain in order to keep him at a distance. But he's coming straight at me. Got some big guns on these things, too. We're going to have to rely on accuracy to win. Let's go ahead and start turning away. I'm not too worried about his smaller ships getting in close. It's the big ones I don't want to get too close. We've actually got 6.2% accuracy right now, which is pretty nice. Come on, let's land some hits. Man, that flight time on these shells is really long right now. 22 and a half kilometers. I don't want him any closer than that. Oh, we're going to multiple targets, I guess. Or did we miss that badly? Be interesting to see what happens when I do take a hit. Yeah, we're just not doing a lot of damage on our hits so far. What's this here? One of his light cruisers. So no own cruise speed bonus yet, because we haven't s slowed down enough, which I'm not sure why that is. Because we've got orders to drop to 30 knots, but we're still going at 37. All right, we're starting to slow down now. Let's see how we're doing on firing. I don't think we can fire the rear gun at the moment. The rear of these three, I mean. Oh, well, maybe we can. We haven't taken any hits yet. Like I said before, I don't mind if his light cruisers get in close because our secondaries will take care of them. I mainly want to keep these guys at a distance, and they're actually looks like they're dropping back. Twenty-four. 24.6, 24.7. So I'm outrunning him, at least at my current speed. Not sure why I haven't dropped yet. But this seems to be working. We've, we've got some significant hits on this guy. We did take one hit for 366 from a 17 inch gun. So he's got 17s, and you can see what one hit did to the San Marcos. That's our big concern here. We can't take many hits. I've got to knock out one of these battleships pretty quickly. I guess we're firing at this one now. I really like to keep firing on this guy. With everybody. We'll get our secondaries firing on these other targets once they're in range. 
I don't think they are yet. Uh, you can see they're almost in range for my sevens. Ooh, he's getting really close to landing another hit on San Marcos. This is an accuracy game for me. I've got to start doing better. I'm just not landing the hits. Ugh. He just landed another 17 inch. That's his second. So I've got 15 hits to barely have caused more damage than his two hits have. There you go with the glass cannon problem that I have. I just can't, can't play that game. But I'm just not landing hits. I've got eight that have been completely ricocheted. Eight that have penetrated. Yeah, I think he's in range for my sevens now. Eh, not quite yet. Nineteen hits, but only six hundred forty one damage. So I might need eighteens to make this work. I just don't think these guns are causing enough. Either that or I might have to go with super heavy shells. Which at this distance are gonna have a problem. But we'll play this out a little bit and we'll see what happens. I've lost sight of his light cruisers. All the way out to 28 now. Gotta slow down some more. Where is precaution? Preciosa going. They're turning completely the opposite direction. This is one formation. There's another 16 inch hit, but I got 29 hits. I'm just not. I'm not causing damage with these hits. And now we've lost sight of them because we just got too far out of range. Okay, back in range. Cornelia took a hit. So you can see now his seven hits have done more damage than my 29. So accuracy seems to be kind of irrelevant because I'm just not able to cause the damage I need to. Holy cow, we just hooded the Louisiana. That was a 96 damage hit mid-deck penetration, but it caused a flash fire that immediately exploded the Louisiana. Now, I was expecting that to happen to me, but man, that changes things a bit. I was really not expecting that.
All right, so West Virginia, right here. We'll go ahead and speed things back up a, a little bit. What's my distance? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. These are 108,000 ton battleships that I'm facing. I wasn't expecting the U.S. to to field guns that or uh, ships that big in this scenario. I figured 60, 70,000 tons, something you know more historic to what the U.S. really had. The U.S. never built a battleship anywhere near that big. We got some fires going on in Louisiana and here on the West Virginia now. All right, I'm pretty happy with the angle we're at at the moment. Haven't seen those light cruisers for a while. Been landing some hits on the West Virginia. Nothing real substantial, but maybe we'll get another lucky one of these ammo detonations. Although it can very easily happen to me. What's our distance now? 28. Oh, we're see we're we're starting to get a little further away from him again. All right, as long as we keep landing hits like that, though, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Hopefully another one of these plunging shots will cause an explosion. What's his armor look like? 6.7-inch deck armor, 3.4 on the deck extended. Oh, we just lost sight of him. Okay. So we're getting a little too far out of range still. Let's go ahead and turn again. And these guys are going to do their turnaround thing one more time. I could go into a normal formation density. To get that accuracy bonus, but I feel like maybe maybe it's the time to go back to normal now instead of having tight for that accuracy bonus. Alright, we're back in range. I started moving toward him just to kind of close the distance a little bit. Okay, that's a West Virginia over there, but it looks like we've got a got his uh, the Youngstown <laughs> that's the first time I've seen that name that's uh that's kind of the nearest big city to where I live I live about 10 minutes from downtown Youngstown interesting I think we're gonna have to sink that bad boy why are we getting separated so much from San Marcos Go ahead and turn back around this way. Oh, and just like that. <laughs> a beautiful one-shot kill. 2,100 damage. And Youngstown is out of commission. Just like that. Lovely. And we just landed another big one. Boy, we're getting some nice hits. From 15 kilometers on these guys. Two shells, two kills on his light cruisers. Maybe. Uh, we might need one more on this guy. Cornelia take another hit? Yeah, they did. 445 damage from one of his battleships. Yeah, he's actually in range for our secondaries now. So we'll start getting some secondary fire on this one. While we try to take out the Memphis. Oh, 
Oh, that didn't do much. Cornelia's dropping in the formation, that's why. Okay. Doing our usual thing here. Oh, he just landed another 17 inch hit on Cornelia. Still see the difference though. 65 hits, 7,100 damage for me. I've taken 17 hits for 1,800 damage. Damage instability is causing some accuracy issues though. Landed a quick hit on Memphis. Haven't hit her since. Oh. That one just deflected. There it is. <laughs> Alright, that's two of his light cruisers. He's got two more to go. Guess we'll go ahead and knock them out of this. And then we'll try to get those last four battleships or five battleships. What is Cornelia doing? It's going in the exact opposite direction that it's supposed to be. Oh, they've got a they've got damage to the rudder. Oh man, that's bad. Thankfully, his light cruisers don't have torpedoes, so there's really very little they can do to me at this range. Oh, San Marcos is in bad shape. The West Virginia hit him. Oh, there goes Phoenix. Now we just got Columbia, and we can stop worrying about his light cruisers. I'm not worried about him. I just want to get him out of the way. Here comes a hit. Ah, oh, thought for sure one of those was going to get him. Getting some secondary hits, but nothing major. So I think what we're going to do here is we'll keep the secondaries firing on him. get our main guns back going after the battleships which we've still got five of them to take out and we're in pretty bad shape especially Cornelia with her damaged rudder she can't really stay with the rest of the formation We're starting to get all our sevens firing on this guy now.
West Virginia, Utah, the Belknap, Illinois, Vermont. So we got the one random non-state named battleship. I'm going to turn away here. Oh, San Marcos just took another big hit. Engine damage. It was I knew it was a big challenge coming into this. Taking on that many ships with just three kind of weakly armored battle cruisers. But I'm curious to know what you would do differently to give give yourself a better chance with three battle cruisers against six hundred and eight thousand ton behemoth like this. Probably bigger guns, I guess, might be the the first thing. Because I've got 90 hits, but not really the damage I'd like to see for 90 hits. I'm getting an average effective penetration of 21 inches, though. Which should be enough to penetrate his deck armor. Battleship I sank, I sank with a lucky hit. So might, need, might need to get another good plunging fire going. See, we're hitting his belt. Oh no, he's hitting my belt. That's bad, we can't have that. We got major damage. We got a damage rudder on our lead ship now, too. Everybody's hurting. I think I just probably took on too many battleships for that size. I expected them to be half the size, though. I expected them to be 60, 70,000 tons. We're at 24 kilometers. Major damage on all three ships. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, just not, not doing enough, though. We've hit West Virginia 58 times, but only 1,600 damage to show for it. He's caused as much damage with eight hits. Here's another big hit. We're staying out at about 25 kilometers. We 
consistently getting hit. It's just not doing enough with them. So I don't know if super heavy shells would be better or if bigger guns is the way to go. We got West Virginia down by half. We might at least take her out before this is over. Oh, there's another hit on Cornelia. Another big hit on Cornelia. This in a campaign would be the point at which I definitely would have disengaged and realized that I was hopelessly outgunned. Now West Virginia is trying to get out of there. Another hit on Cornelia, 17 inch gun. Brutal. All right, so let's do this. Since it's not a campaign. And we've got a ton of damage anyway, we're gonna just charge in at him, see what happens. First, we're gonna take out this light cruiser because I can, and I wanna sink somebody. Oh yeah, there you go. That gives me a little little bit of satisfaction. All right, Precocia, let's not... I know it's Preciosa, I keep saying it wrong. Let's not run headlong into San Marcos. We are going to go right at the Utah, though. Not exactly though, because I need my rear guns to be able to fire. Might just have to get closer and try to take him out before he lands the lucky hit on me that sinks me.
Hmm. So far, it's been kind of interesting. Causing more damage as I get in closer. That's for sure. See, he's low on ammo, so he's actually slowing down his fire now. I wonder how the other two are on ammo. The other ones are on ammo. They're all facing that problem. Interesting. Oh, ammo detonation. Although he doesn't have a lot of ammo left. Maybe that's the key here is to outlast these guys. Oh, I'm low too. Forget saving fire. Get aggressive. Take this guy out. Oh, hello, West Virginia. You're still there. to be firing on West Virginia here. In fact, you know what? Let's detach. Let's get these guys to fire on West Virginia before he sinks me. Get the other two to stay firing on Utah. Oh boy. Right now, I've just got the one that can fire. Oh, nice hit. Gotta get turned and hope I can get a quick broadside before he just lays into my thin armor. Oh, nice, it worked. Beautiful. All right, let's get these guys turned around now. Interesting. If I could take out three of these, I'd be pretty happy with that. Come on, baby. Sink the Utah. Oh, there goes Cornelia. Lost my first battle cruiser. West Virginia is taking her good old time sinking. Utah's not far behind, though. She's at 4%. Just need to one more compartment to penetrate. Ah. There we go. That might be it. It's going to be really close. Yeah, I think we got them. Ah, they're staying on top of the flooding. I don't want to waste too many more shells on these guys. Somehow I need to penetrate one more of these compartments in the front or the back. Then 
gonna try to take out a fourth one if we can. That ought to do it. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, that's three we've taken out. Would not have expected that a little while ago. Now let's see if we can get lucky with one more. We're a little further out now though. I gotta be careful with my shells. I don't have many left. All right, we just took a 3,300 damage ammo detonation on the San Marcos, which sank her. Again, in the campaign, I would have disengaged and been happy to have gotten out of here with two of my three battle cruisers, having sunk four light cruisers and three battleships. And I'm about to be out of shells anyway. I don't think that one on three is probably the best idea. So we're going to go ahead and disengage and call it a day. Uh, but let me know. Like I said, let me know your thoughts. What would you have done differently? For me personally, I think the main thing would have been probably bigger guns or super heavy shells to get better penetration. You can see I scored 1,400 hits, but only got 25,000 damage to show for it, whereas his 520 hits did that much damage. So... I just wasn't doing enough damage for the number of hits that I was landing. And I think maybe that might have made a difference on battleships that were 100,000 tons plus. But honestly, for three battle cruisers that combined only had 150,000 tons, going up against 600,000 tons of battleship plus four light cruisers, I feel like that actually went pretty well. So let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below, and we'll be back again with some more content in another day. Thanks for watching.